You're listening to Radio Multiverse. We now return to City of Mist, starring Blake Blessed as Salamander, Hagen Brennan as Mitosis, and Declan Lestrange as Declan Lestrange. In the last episode, they had a new client in the form of a woman with a missing child. Of course, they were right on the case and hit the streets for information. Then they were led to the boat of the scumbag. What's his face? <laughs> I should have prepared this better. <laughs> Something the vile. Yes, Stanislav yes. the vile. And his goons. And after after a uh, small encounter, they found some they learned some very interesting information. Can one of the players please tell me what this information was? Of course, I am ever helpful to GMs. I have forgotten what the plot of the main game was. <laughs> Silence! Francis has lost the plot. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> so, um. Silence, I kill you! Yeah. Stanislav the Vile was transporting illegal immigrants into the United States at the behest of someone called Victor, who was a student at the same high school where the children all went missing. Perhaps this nefarious victor was responsible for more than just importing immigrants. The but who is he working for? And why is he immigrants, but teenagers as well, I believe it was. Nice. Well, he, he's clearly diversifying. I mean, you need a bigger portfolio to satisfy your customer base. <laughs> also, would... Stanislav pointed out that uh, they were for the, this victor person. He's not the one who's paying the bills. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's a master. Yes. All right. Some nefarious man who undoubtedly moves throughout the shadows of the, of the city. Yes, indeed. And I In would like to first point out that you are indeed still listening to Radio Multiverse with your host, Ramsey. And as I've already pointed out, we are playing City of Mist today with these very fine people. Uh, like Dao, Dao, I'm very sorry I forgot about you last time. Hello, Dao. <laughs> I forgot to introduce oh, you very... last time. Yeah, you forgot that. That was uh, that was uh, uh, that was interesting. Oops. Yes. <laughs> uh, it happens to the best of us. Yes. Well, next time, next time, just just from just go. Hey, you forgot me or something similar. Mm-hmm. I oh, but I, f- it. I found it hilarious how this worked out, so... Yeah, yeah, sure, have, have a laugh at my expense. Uh, Don't we all? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, re- okay. Avery, and just a quick shout-out to the makers of the of the game board that we're playing with, Tabletop Simulator. Yes. You, re- you really need to implement a slap player button. Yeah, Please. that will be great. That does because Bavo really, really needs to be slapped. Because right now, he's again playing around with things. <laughs> I have ADHD. That's my story. <laughs> they I'm all say. Now, if, uh, I mean, Bavo, if you try making it a little bit bigger, it'll probably fit over it. Why am I helping you? Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, it you reminds me of the size of things. Of this reminds me of the tagline we did, we did on tagline of this uh, adventure that we decided off air on. No, no, the, it, the, this adventure has no tagline. Yes, uh, in any case, we're still it running City now. of Mist by the good people of uh, Son of Oak. If you like the game, go check it out at their site, cityofmist.co, where you can download all the things we're using to play for free, except, of course, all the miniatures and and uh, what have you. Those come from Drive Through RPG. As last time, I'll provide the links down below this video. But yeah, wasting no more time because we again started too late and we gotta finish this adventure today or people will inexplicitly drop dead. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, as in every good superhero story. <laughs> yes, all the characters will drop dead if the, the, the plot is not resolved in time. Hey, well, this, you know, drama. Mm-hmm. All right. So yes, we did a uh, small uh, recap 
And you guys just uh, took care of Stanislav and his goons. And mm -hmm. you made a hasty escape before the police could show up. Uh, Mr. GM? Yes? Uh, you This time you only introduced Dawa. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> oh, I am the professional. And by yes. basically pointing at that, I like to toy with things. Yes, we've got Bafo, who is uh, still playing uh, Mitosis, and uh, Sean, who's think. playing Declan Strange, and we we've given them plenty of time to introduce themselves last time. So shut up. Let's get started with game now. Uh, play, so a game. Only play a game. Play a game. Only Dawa should remind you we need to stay quiet. This, these are very complex rules. Let me write these down. <laughs> Ooh. You guys are so lucky we're not using fate or hero points or whatever. I would be taking them away. This is a, this is a dictatorship run by a, by a dictator. Of course! This is, a, this is an RPG! Not true. He, you, you did not win the popular vote, Ramses. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue our adventure. We yes. have just escaped from the docks. Sirens blaring behind us. The lights of the police cars flickering in the distance. Mitosis chuckling lightly, going, "Well, law's always late in this town. Would have yes. thought that a rocket would have tipped them off. Something was going on, but right. What do you got? This Victor lad. You know anything about him, Salamander? You were at the school." That's you, Tower. <laughs> Line. <laughs> Wait, we lost Tower. Where we did need he a, go? Apparently, we need a button with a stick with a finger on the end, holding <laughs> people as well. <laughs> yeah, but it seems that we just magically lost Tower. Where did he go? Is... Let me take a look at the camera. Yeah. Oh, his connection dropped. The horrible timing. Maybe, Salamander maybe his fell, fell, uh, lost his balance and fell into the water. Salamander was in a different time zone, so he ran out of time faster than us, so he's dropped down dead, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, well, then we will wait for him to return. Technical difficulties. <laughs> in, this, in, this, in this bit, you need to put, like, elevated music, Ramses. Yes. I actually have a technical difficulty screen I used once, together with cheerful music. It's actually... It's a, it's a picture of a puppy who pulled... Uh, who, like, uh, pulled out a an electric cord out of the plug. Yes. <laughs> I think ba I think Dawa is returning. Yes, and let us. I want to take this moment to intro to remind all our faithful viewers that we here at Radio Multiverse are trained professionals of many different things, but not role playing games. No, we are professional role playing game people, but we are not good at all these recording things. <laughs> We're not professionals, but we do play them on the internet. Yes. <laughs> that could be describing what we do for a living, yes. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, and now that we have a moment of time, I would like to thank all our new subscribers on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Both of you. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I should have you know, people are uh, are uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel daily. If they actually watch our videos, that's that's up for debate. But yeah, you'll you'll run out of family and friends eventually, though. I gotta say, ooh, uh, <laughs> that is cruel, Sean. How many subscribers do you have, Sean? <laughs> to my YouTube channel? Yes. Many, many. Many. That's not an exact number. Many people agree with him, all right? They know it's true. I, I'm actually, in my secret identity, I am PewDiePie. But I've lost a few <laughs> since the whole Nazi thing. You're but, um... PewDiePie? Then I need to drop you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand that guy. Yeah. He, I, I, he is... Eh. 
not that funny, I find. Like, eh. Uh, I actually think it's a little annoying, but then uh, He's an asshole. Very. I've never watched a single video. I'm just aware of him. Uh, he's a guy. The Dawa returns. He's a guy. Ah. Hello, Dawa Eichbecht. Yes. Welcome back. Hmm. Well, I was I was just addressing Salamander before you unceremoniously left. Yeah. What's well, happened? I have no idea. Hangouts just quit on me. Oh. He was they were done with your shit. Anyway. And I haven't even been uh, and I haven't even been mean today. The day is young. So you were saying I'm talking to Bavel. Uh, okay, I'll repeat it. Um, basically, um, Matosis was complaining about the lack of response time on the police force. Um, and then was like, do you know anything about this Victor bloke? Because you went to the actual school, Salamander. Poo, um, Let me remind you, because that was last week. That was a different school. Oh, oh. so it's, he's not at the oh, same okay. school. No, it's right. uh, some fancy prep school, the oh. academy. Yeah, the... uh, Stanislav mentioned that he was some kind of a rich kid. So you're assuming he doesn't go to the middle class school. Uh, I will point. I, I will. I will emphasize assuming you you haven't you haven't confirmed any of these things uh, yet. But but if we combine that with Dawa's girlfriend in the high school, which is very dodgy, by the way, Dawa. Um, <laughs> Uh, if only, we you, it, only you make this a only you make this a romance. So that is very dodgy on your he, part. I think he was making it a romance as well. Um, but yes, uh, she mentioned something about parties and kids from some fancy academy, and she gave you the name of the academy. So it's not yeah. hard to put uh, one plus mm, one. Into. She told you about a coffee shop, not about an academy. Oh, yes. I'm sure she mentioned some academy. Uh, some kids were having a party from. Uh, that I uh, went to an academy. I'm sure she said that. Uh, yeah, the academy was mentioned, but it was basically uh, some of the kids there that hang around there are from the Washington College Academy. I've forgotten what. Them. Mm. So Somebody uh, didn't take any notes. Of course not. True. Why would he? I mean, let's see how how the system works. And Sorry, then there again, was silence. There's suddenly silence. Yeah, weird to that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're we're just having fun with this uh, this um, this uh, uh, pre-published uh, adventure and see how badly we can screw up. Well, success through lowering expectations. We're all overachievers, so I think we can really, really screw up if you put our minds to it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So basically, okay, we know yeah. this Victor guy, did, and he was going to pick up the wares, wasn't he? Yeah, that's yes. what Stanislav said. Then again, Stanislav mm-hmm. isn't the most uh, trustworthy of sources. Yeah, and also I think where, you know, get, actually picking up the wares is going to be difficult given the so, fact that the cops are all over them now. Okay, mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. right, okay. The, this guy, I think he says his name, was, his name was either Victor Chan or Victor Chan, is that correct? Something mm-hmm. like that. Okay, right. So, uh, we this is modern day, right? So there's the interwebs. Yes, and yep. Facebook. Exactly. So, go on the interwebs, pull up any fancy academies for the city, and have a look through the. Uh, they'll have some sort of honor societies or whatever pages on, and see if we can find a Victor Chan or Chen on that. Mm-hmm. And let's go look on uh, uh, Facebook and sort out who who, who that. Uh, uh, that that uh, which Victor Chang and which Victors are you know part of the uh, school, the fancy school, and also see if they have if Victor Chang has any links on Facebook with any of the disappeared kids. Um, you can see someone's friends on their friend. You can see someone else's friends yeah. on their on their. Yeah, friend. yeah, indeed. Let's get really creepy and stalk that kid. <laughs> Is it any creepier than going into the high school and doing it directly? Is it any creepier? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more modern creepy. There's we we are we are old school creepy. Yeah, yeah. Old right now we school are... creeping. Hey, 
Don't knock the old school. It's a classic. <laughs> wow. Okay. This, this is the first time it hangout is uh, slapping a un, unresponsive script warning at me. That's bad. Weird. Also, you have a very yeah. creaky chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, if if I, I ever run it. a call, if I ever run a call Cthulhu for your guys, bring that chair because I'll just <laughs> demand I'll say creaky doll, and you can just. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Also, guys, please come on, get on the adventure already. Yeah, okay. We are searching. Nobody's the paying internet. attention. I also We're think Bob was playing a video game. We? I'm not. I'm basically just I, because I saw that was something in my keyboard, so I knocked it out. Anyway, okay. we are searching the internet for academies on Facebook and whatnot for this guy. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds like an investigation. Yes. Uh, so Mitos is sitting behind the keyboard, typing with his one finger because. Seriously, I think you you need to watch out not to smash Stop the keyboard. It. Stop that. Exactly. Hangout is being weird on me. Uh, okay. Who would like Let's to see. search the interwebs? Was it Mitosis? Probably not Mitosis. He has zero. Uh, he has zero. Uh, um, he has zero time for this internet malarkey. I think nobody's good at this, and, and since nobody wanted to play uh, um, Flickr, yeah, you don't have an. You don't have a computer expert on your team. Um, I'll use snooping around, and that's the only thing that I can think of. I don't think sure snoop if snooping is applicable. It is an essential part of of any investigator to be able to, you know. Uh, oh, 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 yes. May, may I use uh, premonitions? Like basically, have my hands over the keyboard on the on the search engine <laughs> and use premonitions. Yes, let's. Let's do a, uh, uh, what should we call it? Combined attack. Yeah, kind of like, well, you know, kind of how people used to do auto, uh, automatic writing, but yeah, basically yeah. Uh, scrolling down the search screen and seeing if I get, you know, like a flash from anything. Or Declan, like Declan has a premonition about porn sites. <laughs> I have a premonition that Mitosis is going to have a sad, lonely time on this site later this evening. Okay, but anyway, uh, so Dawa, I guess, yeah, use use two d six plus your snooping tag. Okay, uh, do I get a bonus from the um, uh, from the the, the automatic writer? Oh, great! I lost connection to the server. That's not good. That's bad. Give me a moment while it. Uh, yeah, this is something that always weirds me out. How is Declan going to help you with the computer? Is he like, oh yeah, he was like standing there trying to get premonitions. That was it, basically? Yes. yes. Oh. Uh, I guess that makes a little sense. Well, he, I stands there and goes, he stands there and goes, like, click that link. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you think about it as when you're searching, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, incorrect links. I can basically help him narrow the search down okay. by, uh, no, mm -hmm. that's a waste of time. That one's a waste of time. Okay. Bingo. Dawa, are you back on the server? Otherwise, I'm uh, gonna have I'm gonna have Sean roll for you. Uh, let Sean roll. Yeah, Sean. Make because a my two. net punch fruits are being. Uh, You're having problem with your with your punches. I need to practice more. Okay, so I rolled seven plus whatever bonuses we're getting. So that's plus a two, nine, I think. and that's actually that's a good one. Okay. Ah. Back on board. Okay, ask me ask me two questions. Hmm. Come on. Can so, we get the can we get the name of the academy that the kid goes to? Okay, yeah, you actually find Victor Chang's Facebook. And apparently he is a very hip and cool customer. Just look at all how many friends he has. Oh my god! Question: Does his profile picture have a popped collar? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. He must die. He looks. He looks like a a a 16 year old uh, Asian kid from the way he dresses in all the pictures on his uh, Facebook page. You can tell. Uh, 
uh, he he, ha- he or at least his parents have uh, quite quite a uh, big big a lot of money. You know all the designer brands, and also he goes to the Hillwood Academy. This name has been mentioned before. Hillwood Academy, yeah, yeah. It's a, a business school for children of successful business people and industrialists. So it's basically the the um, the focal point of the bourgeoisie. Yeah, you could say that. It must be destroyed for the good of the working man. Of course. Oh, wait, we're not not set right. it ablaze. All right. So, uh, any other question? This is this Chang dude. Is he friends with the um, with our client's daughter? Um, not that you can find, unless you want to go to his massive friends list of like five hundred people at least. Control F. <laughs> Good point. Then again, what do you know? Well, I had a potential idea, but it wouldn't be to do without having some ace hacker. We oh, it just looks like Dawa has left the building again. Wow, that's very troublesome. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, your other question? Yeah, I, I was just saying I had a potential idea, but it wouldn't work without us having some sort of computer hacker. Yeah, you can't hack Facebook at this. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you, that's just not what in your skill set, unfortunately. Yeah, because I was going to suggest that we search for a friends list for someone that seems out of place, like maybe someone that doesn't have a, uh, you know, an avatar, some some strange, you know, because he he'd possibly have this master person uh, as a friend, but it's kind of an anonymous. Uh, mm. I was. Are you gonna ask me what stands out in his friends list? Is that what you're gonna ask me? Well, I, I would accept, but then we'd go, ah, he stands out, but we can't find out anything about them because we have no computer hacking skills at all. So it would be a waste of time. My, my question is amazingly, um, does he have, like, what is that? What, she was not on his friends list, right? Our client's daughter? Uh, no, not on a friends list. Hmm. Uh, that was, uh, Bow, 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 Bow is back. I will not be referred to as an intestine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bowel man. I will yeah. fart on your food if you keep saying yes. <laughs> wow, sorry, that, is, that is a threat to be taken seriously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm also quite loud. so it Reminds uh, me of the spleen you. from Mystery Men. That was basically oh, a super yes. bowel. Pull my finger. Pull my finger. <laughs> oh no, he shot me in the ass. <laughs> anyway, it will take more than farts and fla- uh, no forks and flatulence to stop me. Yeah, that was a uh, quick quick uh, recap. You found Victor Chang on Facebook. He goes to school at the Hillwood Academy, a fancy school mm. for uh, children of business people and mm. industrialists. Yes. And uh, he has all the friends, at least 500 friends. Uh-huh. So and none of the kids who've disappeared are on that list, as far as we know. Uh, you only have one person who disappeared. Right, you yeah. don't have an extensive list, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But uh, I'm just Double asking rumors, you again, but... is, your, is your question, does anything stand out on the friends list? Or would you rather learn something else? Well, I don't. I don't call the shots here. See what the options are. Who does call the shots here? I mean, let me see. Uh, logically, the next step in this investigation is to uh, uh, confront Victor with the information that we got. You know, yes. pound the ground and all that. And. Well, if we're going to do that, we'll need to know where he is at a given point in time. True. Also, tomorrow's a school day. <laughs> oh. Yes, let's just rock up at his oh. school. We're not totally <laughs> not going to get arrested. Yeah, standing that. at the gate, pound, pounding your fists together. <laughs> well, we already know the guy descended a high school. Hmm. Um, yeah, the three possibilities I can think of is one, his home address. Two, uh-huh. uh, what his father's business is, 
And the third one would be the strange anything strange on the friends list. They would be the three. On the Ooh. friends list, you see multiple Changs, probably family members. I just thought of something. How, How? about that little coffee shop of horror and uh, that little coffee shop of uh, hipsters? I mean, uh, that would be a that would be a, another logical place to continue this investigation. Did she tell you the actual coffee shop? I don't not, take notes. Not precisely. She said like a coffee shop near the Hillwood Academy. Okay. There we go. Uh, does it have the coffee? Does it have a coffee shop on his uh, on his list? Yeah, because you can you can uh, you can favorite. That's location. your question. I think so. Yeah. Okay. According to the information you find on his uh, Facebook, and of course, since he uh, liked liked their page a couple of times, you mm. have learned that he hangs out a lot at Florence Coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm. And that's what you learned from having a look at Facebook. Facebook. I prefer Making all stalking automatic since 1995. <laughs> also, yeah. Declan had a very strange and vague premonition about um, the coffee shop as well. And uh, it was a very weird, weird premonition that didn't make a lot of sense, unfortunately. It, it just... It just showed you the co the coffee shop was full of sick people coughing and wheezing. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this. Also, there was a strange woman, and she was singing about a smelly cat. I don't know if that makes any uh, sense. <laughs> <to anyone>. <laughs> yes, <Huh. laughs> and it had to be put down. <laughs> I am. Okay. Uh... <laughs> What's the point of telling us this, Declan? If you don't know <laughs> what it means. <laughs> Well, I'll just keep you in the dark as you are in most things in life from now on then. Well, half the time your shit don't make sense. The other half of the time it just turns out to be completely wrong. So, you know. Uh, can you point out all the times that it's completely wrong? <laughs> he pulls out a little notebook and, and it takes a three breath. I, I don't believe that you can write a uh, brain damaged friend. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I don't say it's well written. I say it's written. Anyway, that, fact, enough that's about just, that's just a handprint, and I hope that's mud. Um. Anyway, back on track. So, are we going to investigate this coffee shop? And it's not going to be me because you know I don't get. Well, don't there's the school. Fitting. There's the coffee shop. I'm sure we can use our info now to find the kid's house, and we could also look into the pop as well. I will point out, though, it's getting getting a little bit late. Yes, opening hours and all that. No, 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 well, it's probably still open. I just mean it's getting a little bit late to probably still locate a lot of teenagers on what is probably a school night. Mm -hmm. 